Welcome to chapter B2 of the textbook on sustainability management. This is the second chapter in the entire part on stakeholders. And as a first concrete category of stakeholders, we will talk about employees in this chapter. The idea is that after reading this chapter, you will be able to first explain the effects of sustainability management um, or of corporate social responsibility on employees. If employees perceive an organization as responsible, sustainable, this is usually connected with an increased um, organizational justice, and organizational identification, and the employees trust in their company, in their employer, in the organization. You will then be able to explain how these specific effects on employees have then a positive effect on the company again, so on the company's operations, and in this case, perceived corporate social responsibility is positive related to commitment of the employee towards the organization. They usually have a higher job satisfaction, are more engaged in their work, more creative, and overall display a higher job performance. Furthermore, perceived CSR is negatively correlated with turnover intentions, so people don't want to leave the company actually as much. It's negatively correlated with organizational cynicism and organizational deviation, which is then again positive for the company again. Then you will also be able to distinguish different categories of sustainable employee behavior, and we will talk about examples in the book in the chapter. And then you'll see that sustainable behavior at work can take various forms, for example, of avoiding harm, or conserving or transforming the organization, influencing others, your peers, and generally taking initiative. Beyond that, you will be able to illustrate various drivers for sustainable employee behavior. Drivers can be, for example, an awareness of need and consequences so that the individual sees that their action is actually needed, helpful, has positive or also negative consequences. Personal norms also influence sustainable employee behavior, that is norms that are embedded in an individual and also social norms. So norms uh, that uh, display in the interaction with different uh, groups and, and roles in these groups of people. You will be able to explain the special influence of top management, and you will see that top management does have a significant influence on sustainability management due to its specific role um, and power and so on. And finally, you'll be able to illustrate how personality traits and top management characteristics influence sustainability management and CSR, and you will see that there are various personal traits, characteristics of top management, of top management teams that influence whether these managers behave responsibly sustainable, whether they drive their companies towards sustainability or not. The different features that we will cover in this chapter is the first on um, an article, it's sustainability in research feature, an article by Turbin and Greening from 1997 on the um, relationship between corporate social performance so how good or bad does a corporation uh, behave and perform and organizational attractiveness one of the earlier empirical um, research that makes this connection in a feature on sustainability in business we will then have a look at social intrapreneurs these are people that engage entrepreneurial but within larger corporations and these social entrepreneurs uh, they make it case for sustainability, want to drive their companies towards sustainability. And in the second feature on sustainability in business, we will uh, give you some insights on the role of the former Danone CEO, Emmanuel Faber, on the sustainability profile of Danone, this um, multinational food company.